There's 4,000 bee species nationwide. Within New York State, there's about 450. Within the 450 bee species, you have carpenter bees, squash bees, sweat bees, bumblebees, uh, mining bees, and mason bees, right? And, and many, many others. Everyone hears about honeybees, but they're actually not even from the United States. They're originally from Europe. The native bees on an individual bee basis are actually better pollinators than the honeybees are. This is the future for Long Island as well as the whole new United States. This is the cool thing. With honeybees, they suggest using two hives of honeybees, right? So that's 120,000 honeybees. Or using mason bees, a native pollinator, 625 cocoons. Major difference, major, major difference. Uh, with the honeybees too, since they fly up to three miles from their hive, right, and my mason bees only fly 300 feet, you can keep a mason bee on the uh, crop that you want them to pollinate. With the honeybees, they could be pollinating something totally different when your flowers are blooming and you want your crop done. Pollination is important because it makes our world look the way it does. These bees are the unsung hero of our lands, not only for our agricultural crops such as strawberries, raspberries, peaches, uh, squash, zucchini, um, but also for the food that wildlife eat, uh, the birds, um, everything. So even cows depend on pollination because you have bees that are pollinating the clover, which then the cows are eating and that's how we get our milk. So everything is connected. The bees are the basis. I had a dream that I was a beekeeper in 1997. So I woke up and was like, I've got to keep bees. So I started with one hive and grew my company to 100 hives, which equates to honeybees, uh, which equates to about 8 million bees. Um, but then last four years or so, uh, honeybees, as everyone's heard on the news, haven't been doing well, and that included mine. Also, since honeybees are not native and they're from Europe, those honeybees are preferentially pollinating our invasive plants uh, on Long Island and the United States because they co-evolve together. So by keeping honeybees, uh, you could be increasing the seed set of the plants, that, the, the invasive plants and weeds that you're trying to get rid of. My goal is to make raising native bees similar to having an ant farm. You call up someone on the phone, you say, hey, send me an ant farm. Then they, the ants come in a box, you shake them into the ant farm, and that's it, you just enjoy them. Native bees are much the same way. With mason bees, it's called bee ranching. All you need to do is provide them a nesting block uh, and some mud. And then uh, just put them out there in the early spring, They'll hatch out of their cocoons and start flying around. Now people are really getting into mason bees, but the future is also with keeping bumblebees, leaf cutter bees. There are so many native bees out there that we just haven't really looked at their life histories or life stories or lifestyles to figure out how to make it easy to have them in our backyards too.